Hey guys, and here we are for another AFL tipping video for the week. Footy marathon's finally finished, and I didn't know what to do with myself the last couple of days. No football on, no watching football. It was it was odd, that's for sure. It'll be kicking off Friday night, Metricon Stadium, I think it is. I don't know. At TIO Stadium. Wow, I was completely off. So here we are, Gold Coast Suns versus the Carlton Blues at TIO Stadium. Goko Suns are the slight favourites in this game, but they're not the favourites on sports bet. Is that something odd? Is there value in the Goko Suns? I reckon there is. Jack Noons had to kick a miraculous goal at the after the siren last week to get the Colton Blues over the line against Fremantle. It's a tough one to ask. Gold Coast have been sliding a little bit. They're down to thirteenth on the ladder. Both teams will be fighting to keep their finals hope alive this game. And, you know what, I'll go I'll go Gold Coast by 7. It's going to be a very close game, probably a bit low scoring as well. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Western Bulldogs and the Melbourne Demons. Why are the Western Bulldogs so high? They beat that Lake Crows. What's going on? Melbourne beat that Lake Crows as well by the same margin. Why are they so down? Uh, even though Melbourne's beaten Collingwood afterward, after that. Collingwood, North Melbourne, Adelaide Crows. Melbourne Demons are in the eight, and they've got three wins under their belt. They got back to the way that they were before that Port Adelaide game. They look back in form. I don't know why they're so low. They're the favourites in sports bet, and they're the favourites in my mind as well. Port Adelaide versus Hawthorne. Will Day signed on, which is great for the Hawthorne Hawks. Unfortunately, Sicily went down with the ACL last game. He was their big key Wall down back. He was their best player this season. Easily put out they're going to win. They're going to bounce back after their disappointing loss to Geelong last week. Dream time at TIO Stadium. Richmond, they're looking better recently. They're starting to get momentum. But Gold Coast brought them to the end of the game last week. Down to the wire. Tom Lynch whacking Collins in the gut. Tom Lynch getting let off easy. He shouldn't be playing this game. People may call it soft that he even got looked at, but come on. Whacking someone off the football to gain an on-field advantage. Get off it, mate. Get off it. Essendon, on the other hand, they just can't string together four quarters of football. Started very poorly against the Saints, and then after half-time, they, they were even with the Saints. They just can't string four quarters of football together. If they can do that, they can push the Tigers here, but I don't think they will again. Tigers will win. Fremantle vs Sydney Swans. Fremantle will win at Optus Stadium. Their last game for the year at Optus. Sydney Swans. They're iffy. They're iffy. They're iffy. They beat the GWS Giants in in a sh in shocking fashion. And I just can't see them replicating that. They have the ability to. They've got a nice young team. They can really get momentum on their side if they if things go their way early. But Freeman will just seem like the better team at home. Home ground advantage. Freeman will get the job done. Adelaide Crows versus Geelong Cats. Geelong win this one. I don't need to say much about this one. Geelong, um, Adelaide Crows, $8.50 odds for them to win this game. It's, it's ridiculous. It is ridiculous how bad they've been this season. Will they get a win this season? Type down in the comment section below if you think that Adelaide Crows will actually win a game this season. I'm losing faith for them. I'm losing faith for them. Brisbane Lions versus the St. Kilda Saints at the Gabba. Brisbane are amazing at the Gabba. We'll go Brisbane. St. Kilda, they've struggled against some of the top four sides. Actually, no, that that's that's a false statement. They've beaten Richmond. But they're not top four, though. Are they top four? No, they're not. They beat Richmond. They beat, they, they beat, they beat Port Adelaide. Can they beat the Brisbane Lions? I still think the Brisbane Lions will win due to it being at the Gabba, but it should be a closer game than I first expected. West Coast Eagles versus the Giants. West Coast Eagles win this one. They win seven in a row at Optus, heading back to the Gold Coast Hub where they had nightmare problems. Can they redeem themselves going back out to the Gold Coast? Collingwood versus North Melbourne. North Melbourne... They pushed Brisbane Lions in a very scrappy game. Brisbane Lions played extremely poor in that game for North Melbourne to be in it. Only went, only gone down by one point. 
Collingwood on the other hand, I don't know why there's so much favourites. Injuries everywhere, they sucked against the Melbourne Demons. I might go... No, you got to go Collingwood, don't you? I was going to say go and upset, but if Collingwood don't win this game, their finals could be over. Their finals could be over. You have to back them in. They're a quality side if they can figure it out, but they just can't figure out their forward 50 entries at the moment. Their forward, fi fi their forward 50 fluidity is poor. I got eliminated in round two. The gauntlet didn't even submit. But you know what? Let's go. Collingwood win. We'll go over our tips for this week. So we've got Gold Coast in a bit of an upset. We've got Melbourne, Port Adelaide, Richmond, Fremantle, Geelong, Brisbane, West Coast, and Collingwood. We're entering those nine tips. It's good to have nine games back of football. Anyway, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please be sure to give a like, subscribe if you're new. I'm out now. See you later.